After the conference that I talked about last week, a few of the grad students in my lab decided to stick around in Vancouver and explore and go hiking. Now, I am not a hiker, but I'm always up for an adventure, so I decided to stick around and go with them. We drove up to Squamish and started our first hike on Saturday, and it started off so beautiful. We started off at Shannon Falls, and then we walked over to the trailhead for our first hike, Stowamish Chief. And it had an ominous sign. Steep and rough trails, only experienced climbers. Something about having to scrabble up with my hands, but then before any of that could sink in, we were off. I mean up. I expected that the stairs were just bringing us up to the trailhead, but no, they went up and up and up. The trail was stairs. We climbed something like 1800 feet straight up and all of this in my hot pink running shoes. But then we reached a lookout and it was beautiful. There were views of a forest and of a bit of a valley and I thought, wow, this is really nice. We made it. But I was wrong. We kept going up and up and up some more and then at one point we hit a ladder on the side of the mountain and I just thought, you've got to be kidding me. But I said, okay, and up the ladder I went. And you know, it wasn't that bad. It was a little slippery and a little wet, but I made it up the ladder. And then we went up and up and up some more. And then at one point we hit like this ravine that had a chain in the middle of it to help yank yourself up the ravine. And I just thought, seriously? But up the ravine I went. Now at this point, I don't have a picture of it, but I was literally clinging to a tree because I was worried that I was going to slide down the side of this like ravine steep rock face thing that we were on. And so I'm clinging to this tree. And then from below us, we hear a shout. In fact, it wound up being other Stanford genetics graduate students who had also somehow happened to climb up the same mountain at the same exact time and meet us almost right at the top. And so with a little encouragement, I let go of my tree and then up we kept going up this sheer rock face or at least sheer rock face to someone who isn't a hiker and then we were at the top and it truly was a beautiful view and i was glad that i had made it up there and it was so nice to be up there with my friends but then also suddenly more friends and we were up there and we'd all climbed this mountain and it was great it was exciting even though it had taken me a lot to get up there but then we had to get down the mountain and I have no video of this because we were trying to beat the sun down. The sun was going down and we had to get down the mountain and it was backwards down all these stairs. And then at one point we had to lower ourselves back down on this chain and it was wet and slippery. And at one point I sort of slid and I bashed my knee, but we made it. We made it down the mountain and with jiggly, jello, wobbly legs, I managed to get back to the car. And then after an amazing shower and a really big dinner and a few hours of great, great sleep, we did it again. Less steep this time, but 11 miles round trip, we hiked up to Garibaldi Lake. It felt like something out of Lord of the Rings with moss covered trees and a gentle rain. And it was so pleasant seeing snow covered mountains right across from us until it started to get colder and colder. And I realized that we were hiking high enough up in my hot pink sneakers for there to be snow. But we kept going and bundled up and layered up and finally hit a beautiful lake. The water was truly turquoise, and I'd never seen anything like it. And looking into it later, it turns out that the color comes from something called glacial flower. Fine particles of rock created by glacial erosion that become suspended in the meltwater from, that's right, the glaciers we were right near. But after hiking three hours up, we then, again, had to hike three hours down. And at the time, I was tired and hungry and really wished that I could suddenly gain the power of teleportation. But I was also, and am also still, so, so glad that I did it. I climbed a mountain, two mountains, and I saw some amazing, beautiful things that just don't translate into pictures. And I learned that I can do it. And I learned that running shoes are not hiking shoes. And I learned that somewhere in all of there is a metaphor for grad school. Go forth and climb a fridging mountain.